Hi, this is Chris Howard, host of Plugged In with Chris Howard. BetOnline is your bracket headquarters for this season with the best bracket contests, odds, and lines right up to the national championship game. BetOnline is your number one source for all your college basketball wagering. Head to BetOnline today. Stay updated on all the action. BetOnline, the game starts here. Just like the Magic Mike, Rob can no longer listen to this podcast. I see. He's just going to be like, what are you girls talking about? What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of On Display with Melissa Gorga. I know you guys are probably all gearing up for Thanksgiving next week right now, but I'm really looking forward to catching up with this lovely lady I have with me today. You guys all know and love her. She's on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Ladies and gentlemen, I have Crystal Minkoff with me today. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. You look cute. I do. I told you it's cold in Jersey. What is it? It's like 70 degrees and beautiful and sunny over there, I'm sure. 70 and sunny. <laughs> yes. Isn't that nice? It's it's- like because anything below 74, we think it's winter here. So Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, I, it's probably 50 at 45. I walked out to frost on my windshield this morning to the point that I couldn't even like drive. I had to wait for every, uh, it was terrible. I don't know why my car wasn't in the garage. Don't ask me. But this is New Jersey, so I'm gonna, I went to the gyno today, and now I get to talk to you. What an exciting day I'm having. I'm honored. I'm honored I got to share the day with your gynecologist. <laughs> First of all, how are you? So good to see you. I feel like you and I just, like, we, I had such a good time every time I saw you at BravoCon. Thank you. I feel the same way. We immediately clicked. And, um, you know, I clicked with your husband. He's so lovely, so warm, he and um, just gave me big hugs and like we don't really know each other but you can just feel energetically just he's so kind and um i just want you to know that he's very sweet oh good i'm glad yeah no it's like everybody loves joe and here's the thing he my show like outside of the jersey like i watch beverly hills like it's my show i watch it so and i make sure i i like keep up on it and i watch it so uh, you know we always watch tv together him and i were that couple who like at the end of the night we're always on the couch together so he basically watches what I watch as long as there's no football on. If football's on, I'm screwed and like they take over. <laughs> so he knows what's going on. He watches Beverly Hills. So he knows all about you. He knows you really well. So he's like giving you a big hug. And you know what? You're kind of, you're kind of like the new girl still, right? I mean, like yeah. not completely, but newer. And it's like, it's hard, right? To blend in with this like ginormous cast that does so well that has been yeah. around forever. And I think you've done like a really, really good job at just like getting right in there. Thank you. See, my thing is like, I just in general, like I, I'm not someone that like needs a lot of attention. So and people are like, why are you doing the show? And I'm like, well, there's other reasons, but just by naturally um, it, I take my time. And so on the show, it's a little bit challenging if you don't jump in there. So it's actually been like a big lesson for me to like open up more quickly than I'm used to. Um, but yes, it's weird because I've been on for three years now, but I definitely still feel like the newbie. Yes. I mean, because right. Is there anyone that came after you yet? No, right? Well, Diana was on. Oh. Kathy, we came together, but they're gone. Right. And then there's um, someone new, Anna Marie. So she's really the newbie. But other than that, I'm really the newest one. Right, right. But I, I, I think you're doing amazing, sweetie. You're doing a really good job. <laughs> you're doing really good. But let's talk about BravoCon first. Yeah. You've been in the news. I don't know where I saw you. Maybe it was with Justin. On- I, know. I love Justin, by the way. I saw you on E! News or this or that. You had a couple encounters. And I have to say... The most exciting thing for me about BravoCon is always hearing when people go on Watch What Happens Live, like what they felt and who was rude to them and who was mean to them. So I love that you actually had like situations happen. Please clarify. I will clarify. By the way, I know you're more used to having your name in the news. I'm not. I'm like so low key. So I'm like, whoa. And before, anytime I saw my name, like anywhere. It freaked me out. Now I'm like, oh, wow, this is kind of fun. I'm not doing it intentionally. It was just like, it's a one week blip in my life, but um, it is weird that my name is in places, but I, okay. It was not clear. I, people weren't like rude to me. I saw people being rude to other people. 
Oh, so that's one. We were saying they said, did you see the, the New York girl? Yeah, no, I was at, people were in general quite nice to me. And like, you know, like, no, but I saw people, there was a little bit of like coolness, I would say, like if I walked by, cause I'm like, I'm from LA, like we're all bubbly. Right. You know, we're like, yes. hi, we're saying hi everyone. Um, but so people were, some people were cooler to me. I would not say anyone was like particularly rude, but I saw people rude to other people. Okay. Got it. And I know that you said it was the New York girls. I mean, new New York or old New York. There's a couple. I said both because I saw, I saw rudeness on, you know, but I actually, I like a lot of them personally, like, but I saw You saw them like turn people away for photos or just like not give time a day type thing. Yeah. And like, we're all there for a reason, you know? Oh, for sure. You walk in there knowing what you're about to walk into. Like, you just know it's time to like smile, take the photos, put it on, like be in the mood for the next 72 hours. Cause like, that's what we're going to yeah. do. And I also saw one, someone said like, oh, Crystal wasn't that nice to me. She only smiled and took a picture and didn't um, engage with me. And it was like my last day, you know, when I lost my voice. I think I ran into you. Yes, because I, husband I lost my voice as well the last day. Yeah. Yeah. And I felt bad. I was like, because I told the people in the line, make sure when they walk up, let them know, like, because I all I do is talk. And I'm like, <laughs> tell them I can't talk because I was about to go on my um, panel. And then, of course, I couldn't even talk on my panel. So, um, but I was like, you know, but then you're like, you can't like explain to everybody, but you really try your best to like, you know, give as much as you can. But yeah. So that's, that's the clarity of what happened. <laughs> but, yeah. All right. Well, that's pretty clear. Here's the thing. I did the same thing when I had the line and we had to do the picture. I think that was called like the Palooza or something. I don't remember when we had a... Yes. Yeah. So I had no voice by then either. And I did feel that they were going to take that as me being rude, right? Because I was just like, yeah. hi, how... Like, I felt like I was doing a low whisper and like just taking yeah. the photo because I, I had to really exert myself to make my voice work. And so I get it. That's how it is. Is it from the drinking? Do you think you lose your voice from the drinking or were you drinking at BravoCon? I drink, but like, I don't, I didn't like day drink. I think for me, I'm like pretty scheduled, like my sleep, like I go out a lot, but I'm always like asleep by 11. Okay. So I think it's the combination of like being out much later than normal and Vegas is super dry. And then also I was very much engaging with so many people and talking and you have to scream, you know, like louder than normal. It's like yell over people. Yeah. So I woke up Sunday morning and it was gone. My voice it like, was over. Gone. To the point where I couldn't even talk on my own panel. I just put the microphone down. It was so frustrating. It is so frustrating. You know, that happened to me once at one of our reunions. Zero, zero. Oh, really? Yes. And they, I, they had me when I came. Oh, that's frustrating. Yep. And when I came in, they had me sitting next to Andy. And when they came into my room during Glam, and heard me, they moved me down one. <laughs> oh, because really? Oh. I got moved to this to the middle because it was like, she's not going to do much. She has no yeah. voice. <laughs> yeah, because it actually, I actually started feeling embarrassed. Like, and my manager happened to be there. She actually manages LVP too. So she was there all weekend. And I was like, were people laughing? She goes, no. Like, they just thought it was like, they felt bad for you. But I could, I felt like, I felt embarrassed. So I actually just halfway through the, panel which just put my mic down and I and I was like forget it like it's you know that, no that sucks whatever. that sucks when that happens it's the worst and no but uh, reunion is worse I'm sorry reunions way worse. way worse I was so frustrated and there was so much I wanted to say and get out yeah and you literally can't no and I've never lost my voice before. Oh, oh, I lose mine. So that's the thing I talk about on the podcast a lot. I lose my voice. Like oh. it's my job. Like I, I am surprised I have one right now. Like I lose my wow. voice like insane. And my, you know who else? My daughter, she just went away to college. She called me yesterday and she has no voice. I'm like, you're like me. She's going to be like me. Second you do too oh, much no. or have like too many of anything, like you lose your voice. That's it. So this happened to me last year at BravoCon. Um, I don't know if you know who Justin Anderson is. Do you know Justin Anderson? I absolutely, I, know I, I adore him. I love him, but I didn't know who he was when he approached me, I guess, last year. And it was towards the end and I was going to get into an elevator. And I guess I was like, there are thousands of people. Yes. And I guess I was extremely quick with him. Like I was just like one of those, like, you know, you never know. There's a thousand. You never know who you're going to be quick with. Yeah. He, you know, is a very big fan of Housewives. He goes on two teas in a pod yeah. a lot. He's he's well known in our universe, but I didn't really know who he was. So right. 
he approached me, I guess I was kind of quick with him. And then he went out, I guess, on his Instagram live and said, like, I couldn't wait to meet Melissa Gorga. She was like who I wanted to meet. And I just wasn't like, I was less than thrilled with how we met. And I was like, oh. so I found him. I reached out to him. I put him, I brought him on. The, I felt so bad because he really, and I ended up being like, I'm obsessed with him. I think he's an amazing, he's been a guest on my podcast. Yeah, I like him. I know who he is. Yes. But that's the thing, you know, I get a lot of times if I meet people here, like socially, they're like, what do you do? I'm like, I have my, you know, I have this coconut water company. And I'm also like on this show called Real House of Beverly Hills. And she's like, oh, sorry, I don't watch it. And I'm like, you don't be sorry. I literally say this every time. Like, why are you sorry? Like, I don't watch 99% of television. Right. Like, I don't find it offensive. In fact, like, I don't want, like, sometimes I don't want people to watch it. Like, I want you to know who I am in my real life. So when I think some people get offended if you don't know them. Yes. And I'm like, I'm not offended. What I don't know all the people in the world. Of course. And so give some grace. Like, so maybe that's what happened with her. It's like, she was offended. I didn't know her. That's the only assumption I have. Either I feel bad. Anyone would feel bad that I, you know, made them feel that way. But that was like innocent. Like it I, was actually, it was innocent on your part. I literally, yeah, I don't know the reference, but either way I was like, okay, so, but I can't like worry about every single person that, were, you know, I don't know. I know. But I feel and bad. you'll start to learn like, and that's how it happened with me that year it was completely innocent. I would have never done it purposely, but it happens, especially yeah. when they could have been a fan of your show and of you. Right. So they're very sure. excited to meet you. And then they're like, yes. you're not rude to them, but you weren't everything they dream you'd be. Right. <laughs> and then and their expectations are higher. Exactly. And then it just, it's just, if they hit you at the wrong moment or your cell phone was ringing at the same time, things happen. Right. Totally. So that always totally. scares me too. Even if I'm in the grocery store and like, if I'm quick with something, I'm like, oh, they're going to be tweeting about me in 20 minutes. She's an <laughs> evil stuck up right. bitch that like doesn't care. And also like we're, we're not given that grace, I guess. Like I don't see, I don't really see it that much. I mean, it's just BravoCon, but like, you know, if there's any negativity, it's like, we're also human. We might have a bad day. Right. Our husbands might've driven us crazy. Our kids might've driven us crazy. Like there's a lot of things that happen in our lives. And like, I generally am like bubbly, but like I will have a moment. So maybe I did have a moment. I, I just don't know. Right. Um, but either way, it's like, I'm not someone that's going to engage online. Like I don't, it's just not my style. is not going to either defend myself or apologize online. I just, you know, I just was like, okay. Cause that hap that probably happens all the time with people. So constantly. Yeah. And like, it's funny to me, yeah. I forgot you're not really that used to it yet or seeing your page six. I'm it's not. like all day, every day, 24 hours a day. So you're probably like, what is going on with all this? I'm so used to it. Oh my God. I know you are. Oh, <laughs> Lord. I don't read any of it. So I just, I kind of like, you know, when I had a couple of my friends like, oh, you know, you're in the press this week. I'm like, what? Like, what's happening <laughs> like, here? What is this? Yeah, it's kind of weird. Hey, sports fans. It's Chris Howard, host of Plugged In with Chris Howard. The tournament is finally here, and BetOnline Line is your bracket headquarters for this year's tournament. BetOnline Line has the best bracket contests, odds, and lines on every game and every round up to the national championship. You can access the most up-to-the-minute wagering information anytime from your desktop or your mobile device. And you can track your bracket in real time all the way through the tournament. Whether it's college hoops, pro hoops, BetOnline has it all throughout the entire college and pro hoop season. Head to BetOnline today to stay updated on all the action. BetOnline, the game starts here. Get ahead of postage rate increases this year with Stamps.com. It's like your own personal post office. Sign up with promo code PROGRAM for a four-week trial plus free postage and a free digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. That's Stamps.com code PROGRAM. Well, do you have a favorite part of BravoCon? Like, was there any panel or something you've done that you were like, wow, this was amazing? Or a party? Was there something that you absolutely loved about BravoCon? Um, I actually did a panel with Justin Sylvester and Adrian Baylon. Baylon, yes, I think. Baylon, yes. Um, I which I really liked because it was like a mixture of um, different wives, like on different franchises. And so I just thought that, and I had my voice so I could talk, okay. but I just found that panel to be really nice because it was about um, sort of newer house, like housewives that came into well-established franchises in our experience. And it was like nice to be in, in a room with women that totally understood right. um, how I felt. I also like last year, I only went 
to BravoCon for one day because I had to get home for my cousin's wedding. So I didn't really get to like experience it on the side of like being on the Bravo side with other Bravo people because I just went in and they had a full day for me and I left. So this year I got to like, you know, see you yes. like at the hotel and like hang out. And I really leaned in. I was like, I want to meet everybody because I only see them randomly on Instagram. Like, and I don't, I don't watch any of the shows. So like I, and it's nice not to have any sort of preconceived notions about people or like what they're like, I have no idea anyone's drama. Right. Like, which is Maybe nice. yours a little bit because yours is a long time. <laughs> you know all that's my all dirty laundry. You got you got all my uh, your stuff. I know from like six seven years ago. I don't know if it's still going on, but um, I don't really know people that way. So like, if they were warm and friendly, like I'm like, hi, nice to meet you. What show are you on? You know, and I don't think anyone felt that other than maybe Olivia that right. <laughs> it was offensive. Um, but I had a real, I had, she had a great time. Well, you know what? The four seasons lobby, I actually had the best time in because like in between yes. leaving and going, that's where I would sit and have a drink and then people would just shuffle by. And I actually had the best time at the lobby waiting for yeah. the car or whatever it was. And by the way, any, any fans did not need a ticket if they just sat in that lobby. Do you know I said that? I couldn't believe there wasn't more. Like if you're smart, you just sat and had a drink there and didn't move for three days and you would have met literally every single housewife, every single one. I know. I, know. I, I, I was thinking that. that I don't want to give anybody a heads up for next year. But... <laughs> well, here we go. Now it's going to be Yeah, fun. I was just like, wow, this is the spot if you really want to like meet some people. Totally. Um. So with that said, what is your like, do you have a Bravo show that you actually actually do keep up with or watch? Are there any that you like love? I think it's interesting. Once I started the show, I stopped watching TV altogether. And like you were saying how you and your husband like just get into bed and watch TV or on the couch. Like Rob and I watch so much TV before. It's like, I feel bad for him. Like everyone asks like, cause we're in Hollywood, you know, yes. like ev all our friends are in the business. So everyone's a writer and whatever. We all talk about shows and it's like, Rob's like, uh, we don't watch anything cause Crystal doesn't watch anything. <sighs> um, I think I just got like, it got all, it became like white noise to me in a way. And so much even regular television did too. Right. Um, and so I'm trying to get back into TV, um, cause I love it so much, but in terms of Bravo, I, I'll say I used to watch other than my show now, cause I have to, yes. I used to watch your show. Okay. I used to watch, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I used to watch, um, the old New York cause it was years ago yes, and I too. watched Orange County cause I went to UC Irvine, which is in Orange County. And I was in college or high school when that show started. Wow. Okay. So I watched that, but I don't, I don't really watch anymore. Yeah. It's a lot. That's, you know, I was going to ask you, your husband's name is Rob. He yeah. has your, so since you've been like, you know, in the public eye and you're on this show now, has your relationship changed at all? Like, is he, is he like, does he look at you? And I can just tell you from the newbies on my show and from when I start first started, it was a little different. Like, I just felt like he was just like, did I lose my wife? Like what's happening? This kind of takes over your world. And like a lot yeah. of your extra brain cells and time, uh, does he feel that? Is he feeling that with you? Yeah, I would say I would be lying if that wasn't an element that's changed the dynamic of our relationship. Right. That being said, um, because Rob is in film because Rob is surrounded by um, actors and director, you know, people in this side of like reality is definitely different, but the higher ups are all the same people. Right. You know what I mean? Yes. Like NBCU is like people he works with. Right. right. Like, so we do get, um, we sort of get to live in um, a more protected bubble because we've been in the bubble. So right. it wasn't like this big jump for us. I mean, it became more of a jump that like I was on TV and like, I think people, it was always Rob was front and center and, and Rob has never been famous. Like his work is famous, but he's not, you know? Right. So now like there's a face to his work. There's a face to me now. But other than that, like it's only changed where it's like, it's, it hasn't changed much, but it certainly has been like, he's like, wow, people, the kids, like, they'll be like, oh my God, if someone comes up to me, like, oh, that lady watches that show you're on. Like my kids have never seen it. They're young. Your you kids know? are like, like, why do they know you? Oh, that lady likes your show. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. It's so, well, how old are your children? 
Eight and 11. Eight and 11. Yeah. So they get it. They know what's going on. And they're probably intrigued by the fact that people want a picture with their mother. And they're just like, what's happening here? Yeah. But before the show, if there was like in LA, like there's always paparazzi and stuff. So people knew who Rob, like public didn't know Rob, but like paparazzi would right. because he's an animation. So like they would see people go up to him to get drawings and stuff, which still happens. So it wasn't like that foreign of a concept. Um, but it's weird now that's both of their parents. <laughs> Wait, and just for my listeners who are listening right now, just tell us real quickly what Rob does, your husband, in case they're like, "Wait, why does paparazzi know this guy?" Oh. So What's his Rob's claim to fame? Rob Rob's <laughs> actual claim to fame. So he's a director and he directed the original Lion King, Stuart Little. He actually created the character Ursula. Wow, um, I love I'm Ursula. Great. She's my yeah, favorite. She's a great character. Um, I'm his real life Ursula. I was gonna say, <laughs> no, no, when you well, lost your know. voice, yeah. keep singing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, he directed Haunted Mansion. Wow. Um, he and he's yeah, he directed Positive. This is he's big time. He's actually, big time stuff. He's actually on the East Coast. He's in New York, um, uh, producing a Broadway musical right now. So that's amazing. Really amazing. So yeah. you've always had your foot in the door with this world only like way above, like you were way up there with like, that's, that's a big part of this world. He's a director for major, major films. So yeah, but it's still very different than reality. And it is very different being public. Like we never, it was so rare if someone pulled him over, you know, like to say something like at Disneyland, there are Disney crazy people. And so like they're, people would pull them aside. But in general, it wasn't like that. So it is definitely a little bit new, but he loves it. He thinks it's so funny. He's really? like, if someone recognizes <laughs> me, because like, I don't wear like makeup and I don't like only on the show. Right. And so, um, he just thinks it's hysterical now. Like, yeah, it's a new oh, world. Famous. It's a You're new famous. world. So like, shut up. Well, switching gears a little bit, let's just talk about the new season of Beverly Hills because, yes. wow, I was watching last week with Joe Gorga when we come <laughs> back from Bravo. God, I am dying over the magic mic stuff. Like, as a girl who knows what it's like to film and be in the situations, right? And yeah. like, so I could feel you guys from the inside out, like watching it. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm watching every single person's face and I'm, and I'm catching what everyone's putting down and how Sutton was feeling and what you were doing. And Erica was like, I'm going for it. I don't have a man. I get to do what I want right now. And the fact that you I was dying. I was like, wait, wait. I just kept looking at Joe and I was like, would I be in trouble right now? Like if I came home, like there's cameramen, we're on a TV show. Like you would be yelling at me right now. You would be so annoyed. He's like, which is Crystal's married. I'm sure I'm like, I'm like, Joe, it's like, they're celebrating a fun day for her. It's all in good fun. Was your husband a little annoyed when he watched it or is he so cool and get Well, it? he, you know, I mean, he's he's a man and he's like doesn't want me to like it that much right. you know um he's not like he doesn't want me to come home but like honey like i'm going back to vegas next week like why but he knew about it and he also knows that i'm on a show that pushes you know my boundaries a little bit yeah and that it's for entertainment and like okay totally honestly transparent like would i necessarily just go to a show like that no it's not right. my thing. Right. I don't look down. I mean, I it was so fun. And it was like, the guys were great, very respectful. What you don't see is like, they spent a lot of time like talking like in your ear. Like, I'm going to do this. Are you comfortable? Are you like, and then like, I'm going to put my arms around you. Are you comfortable? I right. said, yes. Like, there's a lot of consent, which of course it's like not fun to watch, but like very respectful. And we all knew what we were getting into. Like we knew well before you know, of course. that's how the of show course. works, right? Like of you course. can't just throw things like that at people, especially with me. Like they know I'm kind of conservative in that way, but I love Vegas. I love to go clubbing. Like I could go clubbing till six in the morning. Like that's me. Same. Like, we should have did that while we were in Vegas. Vegas. Me too. Yeah. Like I'm a clubber, but like, I don't like, I don't ever get like messy. That's just not, but I can go out till six in the morning, but I don't need to drink that hard. You know, it's just, I have a like middle balance, but on the show, it's like, there was a thing about like, just like Crystal is so conservative. I'm like, I'm really not, but it was like my time to be like, you know what? I'm going to show you guys. Like, I'm actually like very like relaxed and like 
fun. And, and so I really leaned into it and I had a great time, but no, I called Rob. I was like, I'm going to magic Mike. I called him after I was at magic Mike. And I'm like, just don't watch the episode. Uh, exactly. <laughs> like, but going to magic Mike is one thing, but when they start to straddle you and whatever Erica was doing, I was like, wow, that I would have been, well, see, I, I probably, know what they were gonna do. like they yeah. don't tell you the details. They're just like, okay, I'm going to lay you on your back. I'm like, okay, but what am I going to say? No, like it's, it's a show. No, I thought it was so fun, but all I wanted to know was how your husband felt when he watched it live. <laughs> I'm like, you guys had the best time. I'm not hating on it at all. I think Sutton no, might've been hating time. on it a little bit. I don't know that Sutton had the best time, right? I mean, I feel like she was dressed and ready to go. I felt bad yeah. actually. While I was mad. I was like, someone pull Sutton on this stage. Like I wanted to actually see her reaction to these men doing that to her. I feel like I think she was next, oh. honestly. And I've talked to her, you know, I'm very good friends with her now and I've talked to her about it. And I was like, are you sure you weren't upset? And, you know, I still like real friends can push and real friends can like ask those questions. And she goes like, no, I just didn't want to go up there. I felt like I was next and I didn't want to go up there. I said, okay. But the truth is like, she didn't huff and puff when she left. No, from what she's I just saw. like, I'm out of here. Yeah. But that's why I didn't like get mad at her. Cause I, cause people are like, are you upset that she ruined your birthday? I'm like, she didn't ruin mine. I had fun. Like I, I was there the whole time. I stayed. You were living. I, you had, you I was had living, so. yeah, you were. And, and I was very intentional of not allowing any drama to ruin my birthday. Like I just didn't, I was just like, this is my time. And you know, even though it's like sort of prepared, it's like, I'm still going to have fun. Like I really wanted to genuinely enjoy my 40th birthday. So I did. So when I saw it back, I was like, yeah, like she was upset for sure. But like, it didn't ruin my birthday. No. You know? Well, I met Sutton actually for the first time at BravoCon this, this year. I met her for the first time. I didn't meet her yeah. last year for some reason, or we didn't do it last year. Maybe that's why. Um, but yeah, and she was you- awesome. She had a little kitten shirt on. She had oh, a little yes. cat shirt. She was so cute. And she just like was holding my arms and she's like, I love y'all. I just want to fix y'all. I just want to fix <laughs> everything. I was like, yeah, keep dreaming. <laughs> oh, she no, was sweet really? though. She was so sweet. Yeah. Oh, please. That's like a whole nother situation. How do, you film, but- then? How do you film like with such contention like that? It was not, it was very different this season. It was a very, oh. very different season. I think that everybody that watches our show this year is just going to be like, wow, how did they pull that off? And I'm really? saying it in a way that it's like, it's still a very good season. It's a great sure. season. The producers it looks were like very- you're almost surprised by yourself that you could have done it. Yes. I think it was a big question mark for not just for me, for producers, for the higher up, for everybody. Like, is this, a sh- is this show possible if these two don't speak? Right. right? And it's, it's wow. very possible. It's very I possible. I think that's what's fascinating about housewives in general, because we get sort of clumped up together as one unit and we are in terms of an umbrella, but every franchise is so different because all the dynamics are so different, you know? Right. And like, you guys have family. We had family for a couple of years and like now we don't. And, and it's the story, the stories of people's lives are so incredibly different and personalities are different, but I don't know if I, if I had to film with someone that I really didn't talk to, that would be, it was, yeah, it was crazy. It's definitely different. Uh, Let's put it this way. We wrapped. I'm actually very excited to watch and see for Mm -hmm. me personally, it felt very refreshing. I actually, I I enjoyed it. It was refreshing. It's like a load off your shoulders. I, it was, it was much easier. It was a nicer season as far as I'm concerned. Well, you're going to ask me what show I'm going to watch. I will watch my next Bravo show will be your show. Okay. 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 You're going to watch it. It's next year, but you're going to definitely, we're going to have to have you watch that and then bring you back on. And you're going to give me all your opinions on that. (laughs) Hey, sports fans, it's Chris Howard, host of Plugged In with Chris Howard. The tournament is finally here, and BetOnline is your bracket headquarters for this year's tournament. BetOnline has the best bracket contest odds and lines on every game and every round up to the national championship. You can access the most up-to-the-minute wagering information anytime from your desktop or your mobile device. And you can track your bracket in real time all the way through the tournament. Whether it's college hoops, pro hoops, BetOnline has it all throughout the entire college and pro hoop season. Head to BetOnline today to stay updated on all the action. BetOnline, the game starts here. You're also, how's your relationship with Erica? Are you too good? Yeah. 
Yeah. You guys have a, like a decent relationship too on the yeah. show, right? Yeah. We've never like really had a problem. I think she, I mean, really backstory of like, whenever, you know, I'd call her, <laughs> I'd mention something about, you know, her legal stuff or her, you know, it was never about her ex-husband because I never met him. It was about legal stuff. Right. I really felt like, you know, I think she needed to answer for the victims at the time, you know? And I think what was upsetting for her was that the first, you know, for a long time, for the whole year that I started the show, she was very supportive and you don't see that. There's a lot of stuff, you know, as you know, you don't get to see. Not, oh, I don't think intentionally. She's it's like our back friendship storyline was not important for the show, which is fine. But um, I wouldn't say we're like close or anything, but she was very supportive and would text me all the time checking in. Like if I would go to my room upset, she's like, are you okay? Do you need it? Like those things that she, so she showed a side to me from the beginning that was actually quite warm. And, and I think she knew I was like very genuine and, and I felt her genuineness. And so um, you don't really get to see the development of our friendship, but I think this season you will, I think this year you'll see more of that. And of course, like it's dynamic, you know, some people have left the show. There's new people, which leave space, right, to To show those sides of relationships. Right. And to get closer to people that you might not know as well before. And let me just tell you, I appreciate those castmates on the show that shoot you that text, like when filming's over to say, like, I know that was rough. Are you good? Like, to me, that goes a thousand miles longer than anything else, because it's like, off camera, it's genuine, it's real, and it's like, hey, yeah. I'm actually thinking about you right now. Credit. Yeah, you're not getting the credit for being exactly. nice. You're not getting exactly. the credit. That's exactly right. Yeah. They're not getting you're the credit. Nice. Yep. And for me, yeah. that always shows like who the person really is. Like when they're texting yeah. you on the side, when it, you know, when it's not on the show, I always feel like that scores a ten. It's just, it makes you feel yeah. close. And it's too bad that a lot of people don't get to see soft sides of people, and then also like. You know, with me, I'm like, they don't see a lot of my strengths sometimes because like they see, you know, that I'm like the quiet one, you know, the emotional one. And it's like, that is fully a part of my character and who I am. You know I mean? That is, that is at my core. I'm pretty vulnerable. Um, But there is other sides. And so like with Erica, like you don't get to see that much, but yes, I am. We're good for sure. Well, that's what happens. The more seasons you do, the more we're going to get to know Crystal, right? So it's like they can only show so much of each person. And plus, you guys have a lot. I feel like you have a lot of girls on the show. So um, every year, I feel like we'll get to know you a little bit more, see another side of you, see you form a new friendship. I mean, that's... That's really the best part about these shows yeah. is just like when you get to know someone better or when you, you wrote someone off in the beginning, like, I'm not going to like them. They're at, they're evil. And then you're like, wait, I actually love them. I had them read yeah. completely I mean, wrong. look at me and Sutton. We're like, we're the poster children yes. for really misunderstanding and actually becoming genuine friends. It's like wacky. Yes, it is. It's crazy, but that's the truth of it all because it's all about like your perception when you first get there and what you think you're going to see. Um, yeah, okay, so on your oh, way off track on your Instagram, yeah. you say you are a devotee. You're like devoted to Costco. I just want to tell you, so am I, and I you take are? that to heart. <laughs> I have been a Costco shopper for 20 years, like since I married Joe. We're going on our 20 year anniversary this year. I am obsessed. Like, what you just are? You just love Costco? Do you you like to buy in bulk? <laughs> Can I tell you something? 45 minutes ago, I was at Costco. No. <laughs> I was at the gyno oh, and you were at Costco. I in my room and I jumped on this call. Are you I- kidding me? Do you buy all the Kirkland brand? Because that's what I do. Yeah. So, okay. I I work with, Co- I mean, my brand's at Costco. So I, I obviously love there Costco. There we go. Okay. Yeah. But I've loved Costco well before that. I mean, I was a Price Club fan, Price Costco, Costco. My, like I... It, it's literally like what my parents fed me on. Like 80% of like my makeup is like my body is Kirkland. Um, Actually in the last, you know, when Garcelle was talking about, you know, the last scene, last episode, I'm actually wearing like a sweatshirt that says like straight out of Costco, but they didn't, they don't show it. Cause I think it was like, they blur whatever. all the name brands yeah, unless, it, unless it's like Fendi or Gucci or Prada, it's getting blurred. Yeah. <laughs> and I come out and have breakfast and Erica looks at me like, are you really fucking wearing that sweatshirt? I'm like, I am. <laughs> and she's like, okay, whatever. Like you're going to be on TV wearing that. And I'm like, I love, like, I, I, I buy a lot of Costco. Well, I just want to say. 
that's why we get along so well because I'm also a huge Costco shopper and I always will be. I love it. Love it. (laughs) Yes. Like my underwear is from, I mean, everything I buy is from Costco. Oh my God. So funny. All right. But before we wrap it up, I just want to tell you, I always do this with my guests, just a little funny thing that I saw today on Instagram that I thought was hysterical. It was somebody, it was some radio show was talking about the fact that, and I get this, that female frogs. Okay. (laughs) This is way off the subject. I don't know what you're going to ask. Okay. (laughs) Female frogs will fake death not to have sex, okay, with their partner or with a male that's coming along. And if they see them coming and they will literally fake death and play dead so that they they don't (laughs) have to have sex with the male frogs that come their way. So I'm curious. (laughs) I literally- Would I fake death? (laughs) No, you won't fake death. But have you ever like faked like that you don't feel good or sleeping and you're just like, I am dead asleep because I know he's going to want to have sex right now. Okay. If any woman says they haven't, they're lying. I've been with Rob for 20 years as well. Okay. There you go. So 1000%. I have fake fake death sleep many times. Okay. So I'm not the only one. I can't wait to tell this story when I see him after this. Magic night. I just like the magic mic, Rob can no longer listen to this podcast. I see. He's just going to be like, what are you girls talking about? I can't. No, he's going to be like, wake up. You're not sleeping. Like, what is happening? No, I'll never forget. I saw Kelly Ripa one time on uh, on her morning show say that she would bite her arm off if it meant being able to like get under the sheets without Mark waking up when she used to take forever to wash her face. She's like, I would literally like slowly creep under the sheets and literally bite my arm off if it meant I could get in there without like ruffling the feathers and waking him up. (laughs) Unbelievable. Oh my God. Frogs, the frogs are brilliant. I thought it was brilliant. So I just wanted to share that with you. But anyway, Crystal, I'm so happy you jumped on with me today. I really, I love, I know we don't get to like, Hey, I need to come to Beverly Hills and we need to, Ooh, have a proper drink and hang out and a little bit more. I would love it. I'd love to have you guys over. And do you come out to LA at all? Yes, actually. I'm going to be out there in a couple of weeks and I think oh. you and I are going to be at the same party together. You're coming? Yes. Okay, great. That's the end of the month. Are you bringing your husband with you? Uh, Probably. Okay. Just, just yeah. curious. Okay, good. That's well, there great. you go. We just made a date. So I love it. I'm so happy. Are you coming with Joe? I think so. I'm like, I was trying to make that, I was trying to make that decision. I was like, is this a girl thing or do I bring Joe Gorga? But maybe I'll bring him. But thank you so much for coming on the show. I love talking to you. Good luck with everything. And I'm going to see you in a couple weeks. Yeah, I'll see you soon. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Dive into true crime on Pluto TV. Unravel the mysteries with forensic files and 48 hours. Investigate crimes with Dateline 24-7 and unsolved mysteries. With thousands of free crime movies and TV shows, Pluto TV is the true home of crime. Download the Pluto TV app on all your favorite devices and start streaming true crime on live channels and on demand. Pluto TV. Stream now. Pay never. Pay never.